In this video, we will analyze our, uh, this one is the model we had already created in our previous video. And uh, this is the, we can see here, we had already created, I mean, there is the, when we have to click here, the create new project. And moment we had create new project, then we have to open, uh, give a file name. And then after giving this file name, we will call this file. And here is, you can see here, uh, these are the, uh, this one is the brand model. And after that, we would validate this thing. After validating this thing, now we will create our, this one is the model. So you understand first uh, how we had created this model. We have already discussed in our previous video. Today, now we have to do analysis of this model. What is the meaning of this model? So what we have to do here is the PLS algorithm. We will click here and now we have to finish and moment we will do this and all the values are here. So now all these values, these are the statements and this one is the our construct, right? So this is our reflective model. If suppose we want to show this inward measurement model, we had clicked here. So you can see here now this um, reflective model is converted into formative model because all the arrows are giving towards this circle, right? Earlier what happened? Now, again, we will invert this thing. So this is uh, this this is our model. This is the reflective model. And I had already explained you here. This one is the two models, reflective model and formative model, right? Reflective model, you can see here, arrows are going towards the statement and formative model. This These arrows are uh, from statements towards the circle, right? Towards the construct. So here is the reflective model when we talk about this reflective model. So in the, when we are going for this, because in my next video, I would like to discuss formative model. And in this video only, I will restrict to reflective model. So in the reflective model, we, we must uh, know convergent validity, right? Convergent validity through CR, construct reliability or internal consistency or AV. Discrete validity, we would like to know through either cross-loading or AV is greater than MSV, right? But in formative model, content validity and significance value, we have to know. But we are doing in this video only, for only, only this one is the reflective model. So we have taken this case I had already discussed in my previous video. This one is the brand image, brand benefit, right? And here is the brand satisfaction. It is leading towards the brand satisfaction and brand satisfaction leading to brand adoption. A moment customer is satisfied with the brand, then only the customer will purchase that particular brand. Otherwise, he and she will not purchase that brand. So this is our theory because we I had already explained you in my structure question modeling as well as in PLSM also because model we are not creating at once because that would be supported by any that should be supported by any theory behind this any theory. So there is the theory behind this like brand image and brand benefit. Uh, both these constructs, they are create, they, they, they are making this one is the particular concept, brand satisfaction, right? Then if the person is the satisfied with the brand, brand satisfaction through brand image, through brand benefit, right? So then this one is the leading towards the brand adoption. So I would like to prove this, ki whether this model is correct or not. And after that, what we have to do, we have to go for mediation effect also. We would like to see mediation effect. So whether there is the, any mediation effect in my model, right? So one by one, in this model, we have taken brand image, image one, image two, image three. These are my statements. Those are supporting this brand image and brand benefit to benefit one, benefit two, benefit three, right? And brand satisfaction, satisfaction on threes. Again, all my constructs are supported with supported by three statements. So brand adoption, adoption one, adoption two, and adoption three. So now uh, we would like to go for analysis. So now first we have to click on calculate PLS algorithm and then finish. Then this one is the R statements are here. So you can see here, all the R statements are, I mean, these values are greater than 0.5. Here is also, you can see all the values are greater than five. Here is also, right? And this one is also greater than five, right? So now uh, we can see report and report, you can see default report, right? Or you can click on, uh, we can go for this. 
this one is the default report and one more time we can see this one html report also in html report also you have seen there's the if you would like to know r square so you can see this is the r square value right pended option and satisfaction so can we see in our model um, this one is the what is the value of this uh, we can see here Right, so you can see here. Again, we can go for this. Mm, report HTML once more, we can see here, right? So this one is our R square. This one is the R R square, right? 0.138643. And you can directly report here, right? AV value, you can see here 0.642449 and brand benefit. This is our AV value, brand image and satisfaction. Then communality values also here, brand adoption, brand benefit, brand image, satisfaction. These are the communalities, right? Total effect is here right uh, this one is the total effect composite reliability that's the most important composite reliability cr value because what happened i will show you why this is important let me explain you this thing report these are the reports let me take you overview right overview you can see here i had already copied this thing in my word document also you can see output here right this one is the factor loading i had copied here path analysis also av value right this one is the and uh, then we come to the uh, these are the path coefficient yes you can see here this one is cronbeck alpha so cronbeck alpha that is always underestimated you can see composite reliability it is it is it is it is actually we are taking into consideration rather than cronbeck alpha cronbeck alpha is the underestimate you can see the you can see the you can compare the both the results composite reliability here is the 0 0.843147 and is the cronbeck alpha is 0.722549 and here is the 0 0.8693 and here is this thing 0 0.7 Seven seven point eight two. Then this one is the point six eight nine, and satisfaction is point nine four zero point nine zero five. Right. So just because of this, we are taking composite reliability. Right. Then we have to check here is the yes outer loading. We have to see outer loading. Let me yes outer loading. This is our outer loading. Right. Adoption one two three. And is the brand adoption. This one is the outer loading. And here is the benefit one, two, three. Right. So brand benefit, you can see outer loading. And this outer weight we are not considering because formative, when we are taking formative model, then we will consider this outer weights. But our model is a reflective model. So we have to take it into consideration. This thing outer loading. Then we have to go to uh, this one is the path coefficients. These are the path coefficients, right? Satisfaction. Only three path coefficients are here 0 0.0847, right? And uh, brand benefit and satisfaction, right? And then satisfaction adoption 0 0.3723 and 0 0.489. When we go to the latent variable scores, all these standardized values are, if you could remember in our um, structure equation modeling, we have taken impute values, right? Those are our constructs. We are imputing all these values. But in PLSM, there's no such kind of uh, things are required because automatically it is giving latent variable scores. And all the, these are the, these are the, uh, these are the standardized values is already given. And we will use these values further when we are going for the calculation right and uh, what else uh, cross loading yes cross loading is here we can check cross loading right so we have to see the cross loading adoption one two three with brand adoption right and uh, then benefit one two and three right these are all our cross loadings are here image one image two uh, image one image two image three 
right with the images right cross loading means we have to check this thing okay let me let me take this table in my excel sheet so you understand excel sheet okay fine i am just taking another sheet and i have to paste it here this value right correct here is what we have to do we will do it conditional formatting we can do it right and uh, now what conditional formatting i mean greater than and we can do it greater than 0.6 right okay this one is 3.6 and then we will find uh, yellow fill I mean okay fine I have not selected data mm, first we will select data then right and then we will press okay right cross loading means our internal consistency right Okay, just a moment. That is a little bit we will cut and uh, we will paste here. Right now, 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 now it's clear. Correct. So here is you can see here. Those are the adoption adoption. Those are the internal consistency that should be always higher as comparatively to other constructs um, relationship. Right. So you can see here that is highest. Right, brand adoption and adoption. I mean, with the with the with the, with the, with its construct and their uh, statements. And here is the brand benefit. You can see benefit one, benefit two, benefit three. That is on the higher side as comparatively to with other constructs. And same is here and same is here. But except, uh, I mean, yes, 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 of course. So that is all. Is so that means this criteria is fulfilled. Next, we come to the this one is the cross loading overview. I had already explained you overview AV composite reliability and Cronbeck alpha communality and all these things are here. Total effects is here, correct? And uh, this one is the we have to discriminate validity also. We can check and I had already taken into consideration. You can see here. This is the table. So I mean we can increase the size font size. So I'm sure that would be more visible. Now it's visible. Correct. Right. What we have done, we have taken this one is the overview table. We have taken. So for the discrete validity, AV should be greater than MSV. So what we did it, right? AV value we have taken. You you know we have taken AV value. I had already copied here also AV value, right? These are the AV brand adoption 0 0.642449.69, right? Accordingly, we have taken into consideration here. This one is the 0 0.6424 for the brand adoption. Let me cross check. Yes, for brand adoption. Yes, same value 0 .6, 0 0.69 for brand benefit. Can we cross check? Brand benefit yeah, point. Uh, this one is the point six nine zero seven. Yes, of course, right. So what we have to do square root of A V E. Let me. I would explain you. I will take the square root. Right. We will take it this part, and we will take it this one as the A V square root. And I will press enter. Right. So and uh, after that, we can scroll it and this one is the 0 0.8015 this value should be greater than all these values and yes of course i have so av is greater than msv and this value should be greater than all these values right and as well as this value also and this value is greater than this right and other these two values and this value is also greater than with this with all these values by like satisfaction right with satisfaction with these both these values so i mean av is greater than msc so there is discriminant validity is we had already satisfied this question and the rest of what we have to do in my model 
this one is the uh, yes one more thing we would like to cross check whether it is significant or not right so what this purpose we have to go to bootstrapping right we will finish right so all these values you can see 6.489482 3.888 right 0.945 9.9954 because these values are significant because these are the t values and t was 1.96 right except this this value is the on the lower side but both these values are greater than 1.96 and greater than 2 so i am in uh, this one is the this model the, the, these values are significant and next we i mean again we will go to this report right so i'm sure you understand um whether are uh, we have to check and further we have to go for uh, uh, more analysis related to av different validity I mean, composite reliability each and everything we will discuss in the next video in detail Thank you so much. I'm sure this video would be helpful to you and that will contribute uh, that, that that would be helpful to you. Thank you so much.